Hey guys, this is Sprout Evil. Now, a few weeks ago, a new weapon was released on Robocraft. That was this heal gun, our nano tech disruptor. Uh, and when it was first introduced, it had an auto aim feature for your enemies. That has since been removed. Uh, now the auto aim only works for healing your allies, which uh, makes the little armored mech fighter that I uh, built to have fun with the new weapon uh, quite a bit less effective. Nonetheless, I still have received quite a few requests uh, on that last video for a full rebuild of the Armored Medic, and so that's what we'll do. Uh, the frame is still pretty useful. You can swap out the heal guns for SMGs if you want, and you can also make other modifications. But without the auto-aim, the hit-and-run tactics, the sneaking up from behind and circling around, being as speedy and... Uh, as evasive as possible doesn't really work as well because you now have to manually target your opponents. So on to the rebuild then. We'll start with the seat and four tiles out from that. Then we go up a level and place three tiles. One, two, three. Go down a level and place another three. And then up one and this is where we attach to the front of the craft which is seven tiles wide. Now the electroplate armor attaches right here to these two tiles here. Um, these two tiles on the edge can be replaced by prisms to keep the weight down, uh, which is actually the case for most of these cubes, but just for simplicity of placing the cubes, we're going to use innards for now. And this will extend all the way back, and then we'll start reaching out to connect to the outer ring of the craft. So extend one out, and then we've got the outer ring, which is five tiles over to the front of the craft. So the full five, leaving us space for some engines, and then three tiles to the back. Before we finish off the rear section. So that's the main frame. Now we'll go over the placement of the engines. So the primary forward driving engines are these tier 6 thrusters, which we can attach right here for the back. And then right here for the front. Then we'll want some upwards and downwards thrusting thrusters. That'll be some tier twos. And um, we actually have space for a few more if we add one cube there. And we'll add our upward thrusters right here. And that'll still fit underneath the electroplate armor. And we'll add some downward thrust attached here. And then some upward thrust, and then some more downward thrust. And over on this side, we'll toss up some upward thrusters. And that's enough for the thrusters at the front, at least for up and down. For our left and right steering, we can use tier 4 thrusters. And they fit perfectly at the front here. And so that's that. And now we can see what this looks like with the armor on. And um, there is one cube that definitely needs to be replaced by a prism, so we'll swap that out, otherwise it does block the armor placement. There we go, with the prism there, everything fits perfectly. And if you want, you can fit a few more tier two thrusters on there for a little more forward thrust. 
And you can also squeeze some more inside if you want. There is a little extra space underneath the armor. And for stability and lift, you'll need a few rudders at the back. Well, one rudder is fine, and it'll work in any orientation. In fact, if you reconfigured the positioning of some of the inner engines, you could actually hide a rudder underneath the armor. But um, for the original design, I had two on the back, two just for the sake of redundancy. And then it's just the placement of whatever weapons you choose. So originally we were using the nanotech disruptors, but you can also fit three SMGs on each side instead. But there's the full rebuild as requested. Alright, so we're also going to go and go through how to replace all of the inners with prisms. And this will keep the weight down and um, get you a much more agile flyer. So let's take the armor off here. We can start off by removing the uh, outer ring of inners here. And I suppose well, this whole ring here can be replaced. All right, so actually want that like that, and the rest can face outward. Like that. And you do need this scaffold here, otherwise it's uh, impossible to properly place these blocks. And we should put the seat back so that we get uh, the alert when blocks are not uh, properly connected. So I'll put this seat back on. And actually this whole bottom row can be replaced as well. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And then we can get rid of that. And this can also be replaced. Um, so you can see why I built this out with inners first, just because it, it's kind of confusing uh, watching the placement of these prisms, since they often need uh, scaffolding prisms on the other side. That's fine. If I wanted to add some more engines there, I might keep that as an inner. But since I'm not, we can definitely replace those with prisms. And you don't have to replace everything possible with prisms. Uh, but if you want to, it'll definitely cut down the weight. If you wanted to, this is how you could go about it. So there, that's uh, almost all of the pieces, uh, the inners, replaced by prisms. And we can put that seat back on, and then put the armor back on. 